Hey, this is Frank with The Brain Garage, and what we're going to do in this video is create a deep sleep MP3 with binaural beats and isochronic tones using G-Neural and Audacity. Now, that is a mouthful, which is why we make videos. Reading that kind of information or figuring it out on your own does take some extra time, and video is a great shortcut. If you are coming to this channel or this concept for the first time, please consider checking out the four video series we've already created that has an introduction to the concept and the theories behind what we're doing here. In general, the kinds of sounds created in these programs can guide your mind into the target state. In this video, we're going to make a sleep video. And that means we need delta waves in the 1 hertz to 3 hertz range that is analogous to what happens when the human mind is sleeping or what happens in the mind when the body is asleep. Very interesting, no time for philosophy, let's get started. I'm gonna take my mouse and go up to what you see here is an eight hertz tone that uh, was there when I opened g -Neural. I'll play it and that's the science fiction sound we love so much. I'm gonna go to the blue line and start to drag it down into the 1.5 hertz. I'm gonna take that first node, if I can grab it, and take it down to three hertz. Now you see what you have here are basically three nodes. The starting node of three hertz goes down to 1.5 and gradually goes up to looks like 2.5 ish all right I like a little variety in my programs maybe because I just like making this cool squiggly line in a G neural hey you know when you work in front of a computer you've got to entertain yourself so I I know I'm, I'm shooting for Delta waves and I just create a undulating line in that range throughout the program now, if you saw the first series of videos, I'm gonna do a couple of things here. I go up to Tools, and I truncate Schedule. What I'm after is a 30-minute track, which is 1,800 seconds. Right now, we're at 60 minutes. So I'm gonna shorten it and watch the horizontal axis change when I click OK. And there it is, 29 minutes right here to 30 minutes there, very cool we have again the line. The second thing I like to do is delete pink noise. That's because I prefer the pink noise that is generated in Audacity over the one that is generated in G Neural. Now the second thing I'm gonna do, we have binaural beats, I'll play it again, much slower than the 8 Hertz number. Alright, I'm gonna click on binaural beat and go up to tools once again to click duplicate selected voice. Now we have two binaural beat tracks, but what I wanna do is create a different sound. So I go into edit, voice, properties, click the drop down menu and click on isochronic pulses and click okay. Now what I actually have are two different sounds generated by this program and we're gonna play the combination of binaural beats and isochronic tones. So you've got science fiction and a very slow metronome, very nice. Of course, well, I shouldn't say of course, for me personally, I have a hard time listening to raw or naked tones. It just gets a little monotonous for me, which is why I am going to then embed it into Audacity and put some sound over it. The tones, if, especially if you're listening with headphones or earbuds, will still have the effect, but you know it, it's just easier to listen to. Again, that's my experience. From looking at YouTube, what I found was very surprising is that a lot of people like the raw tones, and that's okay. You can use this portion of the video to just generate your own tones. I'm going to include the links to download Gnoral and Audacity underneath this description, along with the link to 
our introductory playlist. So I'm talking a lot, but in less than five minutes, we have what we need. We have a track appropriate for sleep that has both binaural beats and isochronic pulses, 30 minutes long. And now all I'm going to do is export it. And Gnarl exports as WAVE. You go up to File, Export Audio to File. And I created a special folder for this series of videos on my desktop right here called How to Make Brainwave Music and Hypnosis MP3s. I'm going to double click on it. Now this is going to be the Deep Sleep Demo. And because my computer is heavily loaded with, uh, with audio files, you know, 250, 300 gigabytes of pieces and projects, um, this is going a little slow for me. I think you'll find on a newer computer or one with more RAM or less junk, uh, the process will work a little faster. Very nice, it's done. I'm going to minimize this and, oh, look at that. I have Audacity already loaded. Now I'm going to go up to File, Import Audio, Audio. Uh, that's the wrong folder. I'm going to find the folder. Oh, here we go. And let's see, Demo, Deep Sleep Demo. Here we go. And it's going to import. seven minutes running. I am shooting for less than 10 minutes for this video. Once this imports, I will <clears throat> I will uh, work with the volume, lower it a little bit, then create some pink noise, then import some music, and I will have a finished Deep Sleep MP3 with binaural beats and isochronic tones. I just think this is so cool. Glad you're watching and happy to share. And there it is. Now, one of the things that you're going to see is this waveform is small. And that's because I have preset Gnarl to export at 4.8 volume. If you have it around 50, 80, or 100, it's just going to be a giant file and you'll have to uh, reduce the volume in Audacity. It's just overpowering. So that was just a little trick I figured out after months of using uh, Gnarl. So now what I'm going to do is go to Tracks, Add New, Add a Stereo Track. And what I want to do is generate some noise. I like using noise to, um, okay, 30 minutes is 1800 seconds. I like using noise to help mask the binaural beat and isochronic tone. I also use it in my hypnosis tracks because uh, I make mistakes during narration and it just covers up some flaws, kind of like, I don't know, what do they call that, foundation makeup? Uh, initially for women, but now apparently for men as well. Now this is kind of loud. Again, using Audacity, go up to View. I want to fit it vertically so I can see both tracks. I'm going to play it. And both need to be adjusted a little bit. I'm going to lower the gain on the sleep and on the pink noise. Okay, that's still a little loud. So I'm going to lower that a little bit more and that a little bit more as well and I'm going to stop and I'm going to import some audio. I want some music. And what was I looking for? Let's see, that's in the self-hypnosis folder. And let's bring in, I want to bring in an MP3 because that's smaller uh, than the WAV files. And while that's happening, I'll check the email that came in. Oh, 10 minutes. Didn't make it. 
I'll talk less in the next video. And again, you see Audacity hanging up. Not really a problem with Audacity, more the computer. Doop de doo. Okay, so I actually had paused the video because it was taking too long. Let's... Oh, isn't that nice? So we have some music, we have the uh, noise, and we have the binaural beats. Again, let me go to view and fit it vertically. We can see all three tracks. And that's good enough. Um, <clears throat> if I was doing this for sale or for a video, I might spend a little bit more time tweaking it, but it's so simple. Export the binaural beats and isochronic tones, create a noise track. That's a personal preference. You may not want to do that. And then import some music. Uh, let's see, what else could I do? Oh, let me show you how to do Fade in and fade out. Just for, if you want to put some finishing touches on your MP3, you want to fade in. I didn't have to do it for the music because I had previously created those and had already done a fade in and fade out. But what you do in Audacity is go to the last five seconds of the tracks, mouse over both of them, that's uh, left click and drag. So it's five seconds, go to Effect, Fade In, and in this one we want to fade out. And I'm going to export um, a Deep Sleep demo. You know, Audacity brings up this up and it's going to take a minute and that's it for this video you don't need to see oh you know what I'm going to take that back I'm going to pause it come back when it's done and then bring it up in the audio player so you can listen to that it'll be a 15 minute video okay so we're back and that mp3 has finished exporting it's right here. I click on it, and in Windows, you get a little nifty preview. And that's it. Listen to it for a half hour. Put it on your iPod or iPhone or other device. Put it on repeat, and listen to it through the evening. You will sleep soundly and wake up rested. I love doing these. I love listening to them, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot, and I guess I have to say it, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> All right, thanks, bye.